Got the truck up in the air. Gonna cut this old exhaust, leaky old exhaust off of here. Get it out of here, it was leaking everywhere. Check this out. I'm gonna just grab it here. Yeah, it's leaking. It's going. It's out of here. Cut it out. I got headers here for it. Long tube headers, stainless steel. And I also got three inch build your own exhaust kit. So I was told in the description of the ad on eBay, this thing was supposed to have three inch collectors, but the flange is three inch and the collectors reduced to two and a half. So either way, I got to cut these off because I ordered some V-bands because I want to V-band it. So I'm going to cut these off as close to the edge that I can. And I'm going to either decide if I want to wait for my V-bands to come in or I'm just going to put the pipe on there and weld it. But before I put the headers on, I'm going to test fit them on the run stand motor because I know in the past I've had issues with the holes not lining up on the cylinder heads. But good thing I got the test motor there or I can even use that motor on the engine stand. But for now, I'm going to get to cutting this exhaust off, take you guys on a journey of of probably a multi-part series on the exhaust because I'm sure it's not gonna get done in one day or one video. So I'm sure we'll get a good chunk done. But other than that, I'm gonna cut this exhaust off, get the headers good to go. Other than that, I'm gonna get to cutting this exhaust off. Well, I got the ugly exhaust out, but it's cut right there. So you know what that means. We gotta, yes, we're gonna start it up. All right, so I got this header on here. This is what I was talking about earlier. See how the bolt holes aren't quite lined up? It's a real simple fix for these eBay headers, which are a nice price. Take this outer hole, this outer hole, wobble them out with a drill. You need to go a little bit that way and a little bit that way. That's all you gotta do. It gives you enough play from end to end. It's ever so slight of a miss alignment on the holes that that little bit of drill wobbling is all a guy needs and they work fine i've done it on a lot of these trucks that got these ebay headers so that's what i'm gonna do we'll test fit them again then i'll see about taking the and cutting that flange off and see what i'm gonna do about that all right so here's what i ended up doing cut the flange off i just took a sawzall cut it off dremeled out the holes I drilled them first and wobbled them out with a drill, then I dremeled them. But if you'll bear with me here, take the header over here. The pipe has got one of these on it. Fits on there perfect. I think I'm just gonna weld it. So that's good to know. This header is done. I gotta do the passenger side header. Then we can take those manifolds off and get these headers on there. All right, so we're back under the hood here. Got to take these manifolds off and these manifold bolts. They look pretty rusty, so I'm hoping I don't have to heat them. But I guess we're going to find out. So I'm going to get to taking these off. I'm going to do one set at a time because I believe I'm going to have to also pull spark plugs to put the new headers in. So we'll just take this one at one side at a time, but I'm going to get started. And hopefully I don't have to heat those bolts up to get these manifolds off.
right, so we got this header in. We're working on, working on tightening it right now. Um, typical eBay header stuff, the holes weren't lining up. Um, I'm gonna make sure when I do the other side, I dremel out the holes a little more, but we got it in. We also had to punch on the frame, or the header by the frame there a little bit. Um, other than that, it really isn't that bad. If the holes would line up, they're a nice set of headers for the price, but I also gotta go underneath there and move the wiring away from the header, zip tie that off to the side, make sure it can't contact the header. Once I do that, we'll move on to the other side and we'll get the other manifold off, put the header on, and then we can start mocking up some exhaust. I got this side in um, about the only thing I had to do modification wise was I had to egg out all the holes on this side because the bolt hole size was a different size than the passenger side and right there at a little temperature sending unit I had to notch a hole in the header for it other than that the eBay headers aren't bad for the price you get the chromo the chrom chromatic header um, but is it worth it to spend the extra four hundred dollars you know and maybe get a good set like hooker or headman Probably, but for the little extra dicking around I had to do, it's not that bad, I guess, you know, in the end. But it might be a little cussing and a little swearing, but if you want to save yourself a little bit of money, it's definitely worth it. But I'm going to finish uh, putting a spark plug. Um, the spark plug's in on this side. I'm going to put the spark plug boots on, make sure my temperature gauge is hooked up, and then we'll fire it up, make sure we don't have any misfires, listen to some pretty music from the open headers, and then we'll get to mocking up some exhaust. We're gonna start it up here. It's probably gonna miss because I'm sure, I don't know, firing order is gonna be backwards somehow. Who the hell knows what's gonna go wrong, but it's gonna be loud, it's gonna sound cool. Here we go.
but I guess it sounds kind of cool, but I'm going to get this thing up in the air and we'll mock up some exhaust and maybe play around with it a little bit and see how different it sounds with some different angles on it. Well, jumping ahead here, I got the exhaust routed how I want it. I did tack up this side. Um, I have it held up by a bungee cord. I don't know how far I'm going to go from here because I don't have my mufflers yet. But I'm going to finish tacking up this side. Um, up to here, I'm not going to tack the straight piece. Then I'll tack up the other side. And then I'll call our quits for today. That'll be part one of the exhaust. Um, but continuing the C20 project. So I'm going to get this tacked up, show you guys what it looks like after. And then we'll wrap this thing up. Sorry about the lighting. I'll try and make it quick. Got the exhaust in as far as here for now. Um, it's all welded up as far as there. I gotta get the straights and the mufflers. I gotta wait for them to come in. This is how it's gonna be for now. Hopefully it's not too loud, but I hope you guys enjoyed. This one kinda got to be a long video. Please like, subscribe, make sure your notifications are on so you see when I post a new video, we gotta get my subscribers to start seeing my videos. Getting the subscribers up there, but I want you guys to see my videos. I know you guys are interested in my stuff because that's why you subscribe to me. So please turn your notifications on. We'll see you in the next one. We'll get this exhaust finally done. Should sound pretty good. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.